Welcome to ID Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to make a design table in Revit. Under the families, I will go, I will click on new and I will go to English Imperial and I will select the family template as furniture because we are going to make a table. So I will select the furniture and press open. So in the furniture template, you will have the reference level, you have the elevation. So I'll go to the front elevation. I'll go to the front elevation. Right. So I will just lengthen this uh, level to this side. So it will be fine. Right. Now, I will make some... Uh, uh, first, I will make the extrusion. So I'll go to create. I'll go to create. I'll click extrusion. In the depth, I'll give two feet. Or oh, you can give two feet six inches also. I'll give two feet six inches. Uh, all right. And I'll select a line first here. So from this uh, end point, I'll draw a line around one foot. And I'll select the Tangent in Dutch. Tangent in Dutch. Tangent in Dutch. Okay. And I'll click like this. And another part. Something at this point. Click here. Right. Press escape. Now click the pick line and I will give offset around one inch. Right. So I'll click offset this one, this one, uh, this one. Right. Now I will take the line tool and I will. Uh, I will make the offset zero and I will take the line tool and I will connect this one and again at this point I will take and I will connect this one and I will click the extrusion, finish extrusion and using the arrow key just you move that one little bit to that level right okay fine now here if you want, you can check our 3D view, go to view, here default 3D view, here is your 3D view, right, again I will come to my front view, mm, now I will make some uh, reference uh, planes, here I will click reference plane, I will select pick line, and I will give the offset uh, one foot, here, right, Again, uh, two inch, two inch, right? Right. Again, one foot from there. Again, two inch. Right. It should be two inch. Add the two inch sign uh, from here. Again, one foot. Okay, so we can go like that, right. Now, right, we'll see. From there again, we'll make our one foot at the moment. Right, so we made our reference plane. Now I'll go to create. I'll go to create. Uh, <coughs> what I do, uh, the reference plane, the first one, we don't need this one. I will delete that one. So this one also, I will delete that one, right? I'll delete everything. So reference plane, one foot. The other one also, one foot. From here. The next one, a two inch. Two inch. Again, from there, one foot. Again, two inch. 
right. again from there one foot right that's fine so i made the reference plane one uh there is a drop because one two three right so what i'm going to do i'm going to make some uh drawers so i'll go to create extrusion two feet six inches and i will take a line tool uh, from this point around one foot six inches or you can go up to two feet also two feet and this will be uh, one foot and up to here we can lengthen the draw a little bit because to the height so what i do i will make that one two feet six inches so i make this one up to two feet six inches right now i'll click finish right you want you can check the 3d view here again i'll come to the front elevation mm. i'll go to create at this time i'm going to make a void void extrusion the depth i'm going to give a point five inch right the offset also i'll give point five inch 0.5 inch huh? yeah you have to put 0.5 inch at the inch sign right right now take thick line and here that that uh, that area it will be go a little bit inside here now click finish right now go to your uh, uh, this uh, left elevation here, can you see here the draw address right go to your 3d view and rotate it to other side here you want to see minutely change the scale yeah can you see right right fine now i'll come back again to the front elevation and we have to make a knob for the drawer so i will make that one as a separate family and i'll show how we can make it out so i'll go to file new family i'll go to english imperial i will select generic model face based because we have to place the knobs on the face of the drawer so i'll select generic model face based and press ok right now here come to the front elevation here I will use revolve. I'll click revolve. Right. So here I will from this point I will make around three inches enough. Three inch. Okay. Okay, one one inch. And here one inch and angle it little bow and join now click the axis line you can click pick axis line because we have axis and click and click finish now if you want using the arrow key move little bit that one little bit thinner to the half of the way right so this is our knob uh, right now you can save this one file save as family i will say knob right now straight away you can load this one so click load into project we have another family so that is going to be the project for this family so you can click load into right so here you can place it uh, place it like this uh, in the middle so we can make, move it later also so i will place it like this first and after that can you see there is a flip icon right when you i press escape when you select there here can you see slick 
uh, select that one you can click it you want to go to the front elevation uh it's been done something wrong right so what i do i will undo that one here it's came here uh, i will select that one right better to will set the plane i will delete that one right? it's already loaded so what i do i will go to uh, component right and here place on face and you have to select the, this inner face so that is outer face so i'll go to the back elevation so go to the back elevation right uh, go to component here now that face is selected but we'll have a model line also so we can find out the center line so i'll draw a line and go here also line now go to component go to create component place on face right, click that one now delete that line now it's in center now go to the front elevation that also fine go to the right side and you can you have to flip click that one now you have to flip that one to other side now here you are not this there now you go to your 3d view and check here right now what we can do i will copy these uh, drawers so drag and select which mean drag left to right right and click copy select this corner point and paste it to this reference plane little bit up right one here and uh, other one uh, here okay now that's fine that's all right now what i do i will go again to create you want here also we can have create extrusion mm, i'll select a line from here to here we can go up to nine feet and the thickness uh, one inch okay here yeah, the depth uh, we make the depth two feet six inches okay make the depth two feet six inches and click finish right we want to lengthen the table you can lengthen some more so I will lengthen that one a little bit up to this point. Here also this point. How much you want, you can lengthen right now. We check your 3D view. You see? Okay, fine. Now I'll come to my again the front elevation. Now I will make some supports. So I'll go to create. I'll go to click revolve. right i will one inch so total we are going to revolve so it will be one i made it one for one inch so the total it will, will be two inch now select the uh, axis line draw axis line and draw the axis line and click finish so we have a support now go to the right view no not to the right view uh, maybe yeah right or, or left which is convenient i'll go to the left view here is the support we can reduce the thickness i think it's too light okay now click uh, copy no, I will move this one first. Take the move tool. Move that one. A little bit inside. Some more will move that one. Okay. Now you can mirror this one. Go to mirror draw axis. Set, oh, no. 
mirror draw axis select that one enter so select the midpoint and here also the midpoint so it will be mirrored now you can go to your 3d view and you can check that one yeah right we will make some more support i'll go to front again mm. again i'll go to revolve quickly yeah from here to here you want you can make it a little bit in a row that's up to you click here i'll make this one half an inch from this one up to here axis line draw axis and click finish go to the left elevation click move move that one little bit inner right that's fine now we can mirror that one click mirror draw axis and the midpoint and here also the midpoint now go to your 3d view yeah we have the two supports from that side to this side here yeah. right now we'll play some supports with the drawer also same like so i'll go again to the front elevation mm, create same revolve or you we can copy this one i'll copy this one click that one copy so i'll copy this one uh, somewhere here right. i'll uh, reduce the size according to this now i will copy this one again i'll select copy enter back one there and i'll copy same thing and we can enlarge that one yeah they actually copy i'll select that one enter and i'll enlarge the size a little bit right now i'll go to the left view and we have to mirror that one one by one we can see here uh click uh, no need to move i think so click here mirror draw axis right again this one also one by one you have to mirror click mirror draw axis select that one enter midpoint and midpoint again mirror draw axis click mirror draw axis center point and the center point again this one this one little bit lengthen we'll mirror that one and lengthen select that one enter because the other side is right now go to your front elevation ah, no need right now fine you can check the 3d view here right so we we'll finish ah, here also we have to make a small one so i'll select this one copy enter place it here and reduce the size right fine now we made the thing thing here you can go to realistic we can assign the material also with realistic if you want you can assign your materials so try this uh, nice design table i hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to make a design table in rivet if you didn't subscribe our channel please subscribe our channel if you have any questions comment in the comment box